time we talked about what it means to find the difference between two integers. And we use this illustration of a fence with end posts, okay, and then posts between, and then number of fence sections. So first of all, we have in this illustration five fence posts. And we find out that the difference between two integers is just uh, the number of sections between the fence posts. So for example, the difference between five and one is four, which is how many sections of fence there are. Now, what if we wanted to figure out how many integers are between one and five? Well, take a look. It'd actually just be the middle fence post, which is this these numbers in green. So if we counted the middle fence post, not including the end post, there would be three total posts in between, or three integers between one and five namely 2, 3, and 4, and that adds up to 3. So the question is, if we're given any two integers, how do we figure out how many integers are between those two integers? Well, notice that if we figure out the number of fence sections, all we have to do is subtract 1 from that to figure out how many middle fence posts there are. So there's four total sections. Subtracting 1 from that would give us how many fence posts are between. This is going to allude to a simple way of finding how many integers are between two integers. The number of middle fence posts represents the number of integers between 5 and 1. In other words, the numbers 2, 3, and 4, as you can see here. Okay, so uh, to find the in number of integers between two numbers, just subtract the larger number, we'll call it b, minus this not smaller number a, then subtract 1 from that. The formula for that would be b minus a minus 1. So again, b minus a gives you the difference between the integers. Once you find that, which is the number of fence sections, you then need to subtract one from that to figure out how many integers are between those two integers. Again, this illustration is a great way to remember the rule for how to figure out how many integers are between two integers. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. First question is, how many integers are between 10 and 20? Well, you could count them out, right? It'd be 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19, right? Not including 10 and 20, just the ones between. But since we know this rule already, we can use the rule and figure out the answer very quickly. So what would our, our B in this case would be 20. Our A would be 10. So the difference between 20 and 10 is 10. And then we said, once you get that, you just subtract one from that. So we get nine. So there are nine integers between 10 and 20. Okay, again, not including 10 and 20. And again, we said that's 11 through 19, and that's, that makes sense, right? There's nine numbers between 10 and 20. So you just find the difference between them and then subtract one. How many integers are between negative five and 13? So in this case, we have a negative number and we have a positive number, but it doesn't matter. You still take the larger number, subtract the smaller. So we're gonna do 13 minus negative five which ends up being 13 plus 5, which makes sense. The difference between those two is going to give you 18. Okay, why is that? Because, well, obviously it's, it's, it's going to take 5 hops to get from negative 5 to 0, and then another 13 to get to uh, 13, so that's 18 total. But then since we're finding the number of integers between them, once we find the difference, then we just subtract 1 from that, and the answer is 17. And again, it's, it's a lot easier just to, to subtract them and subtract 1 than to try to count negative 4, negative 3, uh, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 12. Yes, that does add up to 17, but when you use the rule, it makes it a lot simpler. All right, how many integers are between negative 19 and negative 11? So now we have two negative numbers, but it doesn't matter. We can still use the same rule. Notice that negative 11 is bigger than negative 19. Since negative 11 is bigger than negative 19, we'll do the bigger minus the smaller, negative 11 minus negative 19. Again, the two negatives in between make a positive. doesn't matter if you start out with a negative, the rule's the same. So it becomes negative 11 plus 19, which is 8. Same as 19 minus 11. And then 8 minus 1, you're subtracting 1 because you're finding the, again, the, the number of integers between, not including the two. So we have uh, 8 minus 1 which is 7. And this one's a little bit easier to verify. We could actually have counted these. What are the integers between negative 19 and negative 11? Be negative 18, negative 17, negative 16, negative 15, negative 14, negative 13, negative 12, which makes seven total integers between. So that verifies that our rule works yet again. 
how many integers are between negative 10 and 0? Now, if you just were to try to do this in your head, you might say 10, right? But we need to do the bigger minus the smaller, so it's going to be 0 minus negative 10. And then from there, we're going to subtract 1 because, again, we're finding the difference between, I'm sorry, the number of integers between negative 10 and 0. Okay, so 0 minus 10, negative 10, is going to become 0 plus 10, and then we still have the minus 1 on the end. Now, um, 0 plus 10 is pretty obvious. Okay, that's 10. And then we're just going to subtract 1 from that. And so the final answer is 9. There are 9 integers between 0 and negative 10. And you can conceptually think about that one pretty easily because it's just negative 1 through negative 9, which makes a 9. I'm going to do a few more. How many integers are between 14 and 15? Well, this one's pretty obvious, right? I mean, there are no integers between 14 and 15. If you wanted to use the rule real quick, it would be the bigger minus the smaller minus 1, which becomes 1 minus 1, which is ultimately 0. So this verifies the fact that there are no integers between uh, 14 and 15. There are fractions, but not integers, which makes sense because there's a difference between them of 1. There's no integers to fit there. Uh, last example, let's start with, um, let's do negative 22 and 3. All right, so again, we're just going to do this one real quick. We're going to do the bigger minus the smaller and then subtract 1. That way we can solidify this concept. So it can be 3 minus negative 22 minus 1. And 3 minus negative 22 becomes 3 plus 22. Then minus 1 after that. 3 plus 22 is 25. We'll denote that. And then subtract 1 from that. Final answer is 24. So there are 24 integers between negative 22 and 3. This works for any two integers. Again, always go back to the fence post principle. The number of integers between two integers is the number of middle fence posts. If you have any other questions about the number of integers between two integers, let me know.